who will go on beyond Sorry. us. So, and also, especially when you have continuous ideologies that affect your children, as my partner showed. So actually, it's a rational choice thing to protect your genetic code, which is what people seem to be doing on this earth anyway. Now, they said human life is hugely important to preserve, but we should never send troops to kill other people, even when it prevents far more human Sorry. life being lost. So thank you, we find that it's massively self-defeating. Then, now the idea of objective truth. This is very important, and we feel this is where the main crunch of the debate comes. Because they said, just because you don't know about it for certain, it doesn't it mean that you can't go into these people's countries and change how they live and change what they do. We feel the very way that we live our lives is based on making assumptions. Is, but we make assumptions that we believe in, we make reasonable assumptions. For example, we cannot prove that gravity is the right theory to go. But I don't see propositions jumping off cliffs. We have to make reasonable assumptions and act on them, because otherwise our very way of living is impossible and stands for contradictory. No, thank you. So, even if there are no objective truths, we feel there are truths which are very, very, very strong, almost to the point of being objective. The point is, the way we live our life, and the, very, the rational way to live your life, is to assume that there are truths that you believe in and that are worth defending for other people, as well as just for yourself. So, are some ideologies worth fighting for? We believe that our ideology is worth fighting for. Because even though we might not be able to be sure under 100% objective truth, which, by the way, is the underpinning mark of a weak argument, because you can't bring necessarily to defeat the other team, so you say, well, we can't know for certain. We think under our, all we have is our rationality, and all we have is our assumptions, and we should go around and try and further it, because otherwise, what's the point of doing anything at all? Is it never okay to take a human life? They have said it's okay to take a human life when you want to preserve your own. So, under the idea that the preservation of a human life being yours is worth killing others for, I don't see, and they've never proved, why it's not okay to preserve other people's human lives, especially when they vastly outnumber the number of lives you have to take away. And do we have the obligation actually to go into these countries and actually to take part in these wars ourselves? I believe that we do. Because I believe that altruism is important, that preventing genocide is important, that even if we're not 100% sure we're right, we're still better off doing what we believe in. Thank you.